Hello as welcomes back everyone, and for Wolf here more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as a Sarah or Sith Marauder here in Korriban. We're on our way now to the tomb of Naga Shadow with Vet as company, as apparently she knows the way to activate the hidden switches to gain us access to a forbidden chamber. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, there's that horrible line again. to go this way. I say there's a lot of like little things we could do while we're here. A lot of other side missions we can pick up, but we're not really gonna bother with them too much since my bounty hunter is gonna be mostly dealing with the side missions on the planets we're visiting. I should have probably done them here on Korriban, I guess. Because, well, our bounty hunter's not really gonna come here. But, with hindsight and everything. Yep, just like I left it, this place is still ultra creepy. So, we need to find four hidden switches. Hello, statue. There's one. Here's the second one. Oh, can't complete the bonus mission yet. There you go. Eliminated the competing acolytes. And there's the third. And last but not least, let's get around this corner. Let you use a grenade there. And last but not least, get better to play around the armor rack. And that opens the doorway to the Forbidden Cavern. Obviously, this is the Sith Inquisitor's opening. We need to go this way. Hey, this is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern isn't here. Just let me get my bearings. Meanwhile... Take your time, slave. 
Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I've finished killing your new master. Can't say I'm surprised to see you, Vemren. You're remarkably predictable. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. That... Nah, I'm not even gonna comment. Barris's apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity, only to be proven unworthy? I've waited a long time to put you in your place. Consider this. Killing you was easy. Then do it. Finish me. Wow. Nice work. Wait, 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 what? I guess we're not supposed to have a lightsaber at this point, so we would normally have a practice blade, but really? Glad to impress you. The secret entrance is right here. You've been most helpful. It's nice to be acknowledged. Thanks. See, you can be nice to vet. Lure into a false sense of security. Like the pharaohs of old, Mega Shadow was buried with his retainers.
made it. Just need to return to Darth Barris. We may as well use quick travel. Get ourselves back over to the Sith Academy. So yeah, we have the ancient lightsaber. First customizable weapon you'll ever get in the story mode at least. I didn't already have my own blades. We could probably keep that for the entire game. Ugh. As places of higher learning go, this one has got to be the scariest. You! Murderer! My oh, father hey. was a staunch traditionalist, and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Refresh my memory. I kill many people's fathers. You seek to add insult to injury? I'm Eskla Greiton. My father was Overseer Tremel. Remember killing him? Well, I don't know. But I am in possession of his ring. See? I'm going to rip that ring from your steaming corpse! I give it to you willingly, Eskela. Here. Great. You think that's going to placate me? You'll rue the day you took his life. Attack! Well, this is on you now. Why does everyone seem to want to kill us? Oh, oh well. Can we, t can we have the ring back now? No. Oh well. Oh, we do. Oh well. There you go, Vet. You can have the ring now. This is great, thanks. You're welcome. You saw that again, didn't you? I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Venran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He tried and failed. Venran was nothing if not consistent. Bravo. I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. I'm your humble servant, Master. I bow before you. Rise, my apprentice. This is only the beginning. With you as my right hand, we shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Dromond Koss. Meet me at the Citadel there. Tell the Emperor I said hello. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Drummond Koss. Thank you. Oh, gain some cartel coins. Do we... Unlock an achievement there? Yeah, we did. Hmm, interesting. It's so awkward to be gaining um, achievements when I, I think I unlocked them when I was playing previously. But it was on the US servers. So again, with Vet here, we have a few different customizable appearances. This is her default, as you can see. Obviously, we can have a bit more pale blue. We have a red. Oh, like this, um... I was going to say yellow. It's kind of like yellow-greeny. Yeah, it's more like olive. 
I think we'll um I think we'll keep it with a default actually. But we'll take the red one just as a backup. And we gain level 15 from that. Uh, we may as well abandon the tutorial. And get ourselves to the Imperial Fleet. And then get ourselves over to Drum and Cass. Upgrade Force Scream. Our heroic moment, which might come in handy. Calls upon the force to aid you and your companion, immediately finishing the cooldown on Saber Ward and restoring 2% of your maximum health every 3 seconds. And speed up piloting. And we can unlock the Duro form. And there's an aggressive lightsaber form, causing your melee attacks to increase all damage dealt by 1% for 30 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. This effect cannot occur more than. Uh, more than once every second. Now, let's look at Berserk. We need the Duro form, because when we activate Berserk then, it increases the critical chance of your bleed attacks by 100% and, close, and causes bleed damage to heal your group for 1% each tick. So, we switch into the Duro form now if we start using Rupture. And we do get other various uh, bleed abilities later on. We'll be able to um, do more damage over time. In fact, let's have a look. We get deep wound. <coughs> Excuse me. We've already unlocked hemorrhaging slash. Reduces the cooldown of smash by nine seconds, and the rage it consumes by one. In addition, smash deals thirty percent more damage and spreads your rupture and force rend bleed so that. To targets it hits, if it hits the target already affected by those bleeds. And obviously Deep Wound we unlock next level, increases the direct damage dealt by Rupture. So the best thing and probably the way to deal damage is to maybe force charge on an enemy, use Rupture, and then smash to sp the spread that Rupture to everyone around him. And then we'll be using Berserk, so our bleed effects um, have a 100% chance to critically damage them each time. Not a bad idea, overall. It's kind of like optimizing it slightly. But, as I say, let's get ourselves over to the Imperial Fleet. That's right, you bow to me. We now, yeah, we are now an apprentice. It's our new title. Miss me? Let's see, we'll probably go to the Imperial Fleet. I will choose my uh, true skills. We'll speak to the advanced training um, Sith Lord on the actual um, fleet itself before ending this video, I think. And we can set ourselves up ready to go to Drum and Cass. Yeah, so I won't introduce you to the Imperial Fleet once again, because I've already done it once. Uh, the armoured outfit. I've already done it once uh, with my bounty hunter, so you know kind of where we need to go. I say this is the shuttle that you would take to go to Korriban, and we came from this one as Valakar, um, taking the shuttle from Hutter to the Imperial Fleet here. Uh, Vet wants to speak to us. We can um, have a talk uh, in the cantina, actually. Once we've um, had, some, had a word with the Sith Lord here. Oh, there he is. Lord Lokar. There you are. 
You've attracted more than Darth Barriss's attention, young one. I'm Lord Lokar. I'm called upon to promote especially promising Sith, and you have been deemed worthy of my guidance. I will expose you to what Darth Barriss will not. What kind of guidance do you provide? You will choose between two disciplines. One follows the path of Marco Ragnos, who focused the dark side to become nearly unwoundable in battle. The other one was mastered by Naga Sada, who could intuit where his foe was weakest and then strike precisely with devastating effect. I hand you over to Lord Krimin. Tell him the path you choose and he will complete this phase of your training. You have my thanks. I hope someday you eclipse your master. Good luck to you. Yeah, that subtle final sentence of his. It's well known um, in Sith politics that apprentices will eventually try and overthrow their master to become the master themselves. And the masters train their apprentices until that point. And probably don't want to die, so they put up a fight about it. Nonetheless. Bagthra Wanawaga mi Bunawa Dwedwipe. Che chopa kuma ni umpi but malia bedwana ni bobo. Umpa hupa chikilia umpasa do biska. Pampa wula ji ota kakoga huta no pisto. As he was saying, don't be su don't be surprised that a Twi'lek is actually a Sith Lord. Aliens don't normally claim with a Sith hierarchy, so obviously he must be um, especially powerful in some way. He doesn't have a great deal of health. He, even we have more health than him right now. But he is an NPC character, so we won't look into that too deeply. The Force is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it. And we've learned a new ability. Crippling Slash. Slash is the target for 44 to 50 weapon damage, slowing its movement speed by 50% for 10 seconds, and reducing the healing it receives for 20% for 10 seconds. Show no mercy. Probably won't use that so much. But it's available nonetheless. The one thing we did learn was uh, deep wounds increasing the direct damage dealt by rupture. So we'll get ourselves over to the crew skills section, which is over this way. We'll probably just choose free gathering skills, and then we can send those resources on to the characters I have, which will create my various air uh, modifications. Hey. So we'll go scavenging as always. Slicing, why not? And maybe archaeology. Oh, oh no, we were going to go diplomacy, weren't we? So then we diplomacy has light and dark side missions, and depending on their level, because these are only like level ones, you could say your tier one missions. It depends on how much um, light side and dark side um, influence you'll gain. At the moment, we are negative 400. And in negative 1000, we will gain Dark Side Tier 1, our alignment 1. And that's when our features will start to change. Due to um, our. I'm trying to figure what it's called. I say our alignment will change to the Dark Side, so our features will reflect that. I suppose that's the best way to describe it. Hey there. Oh, of course, I forgot. Um, Vet, you want to speak to us about something? So, what did you want to say? So, hey, I've been thinking. Maybe you want to take this shock collar off? You know, as a sign of thanks for my hard work on Korriban. Not that I don't enjoy the perpetual fear of electrocution. 
You will do as I say and not ask for favors. Yeah, that's a real keen idea and all, but what do I get out of it? That's a point. Behave and later the collar. You're serious? All right, I can do that. I think. Behave at. Yeah. We could have taken it off straight away, but we're not going to be too soft on Vet. We'll see um, how things develop. We do get other options to remove the collar later on. It was a bit more sadistic. I would just constantly shock her when the option's available, but I'm not that kind of guy. Oh, Woman in this instance, I suppose it should be. We could try uh, the Black Talon once again. But you've already seen that once already. Oh, the Flight of Drum and Cass isn't going to get us any experience anymore because we've gained level 16. Whoops. So we'll take the longer, more direct shuttle to Drum and Cass. And once we've traveled here, I will probably end this video. I probably could have ended it now. But yeah, we will start on the Imperial Capital Planet and go rendezvous once again with Darth Barris and see what he wishes of his apprentice here. loaded up so i'll end this video here as i said uh, feel free to comment below let me know what you think it's as i say it's going to be a much shorter series than hi than my bounty hunter one but that's because i'm focusing just mainly on the story or class missions that we gain but yeah i don't mind doing that at all so i'll see you all next time as we continue the series until then bye bye now